talking. It's me again, Tiger Breaking to Fallout Facts. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do leave a like, comment below, subscribe to my channel. Please do follow me on me on TikTok. Let's begin. And now a sneak peek of I don't give a shit. A sneak peek of wokeness. They go all together like board of this. The end of the world as we know it. So let's face facts. Ron Perlman still one of the greatest actors of all time. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. We'll be counting down our picks for the AKA he Fallout played Fallout. Hellboy in the last two films. For this list, we'll be looking at the most interesting tidbits of the Fallout franchise from its start in 1997 to today. This can range from in-game secrets, recurring characters, homages to other franchises, behind-the-scenes information, and other facts that make the post-apocalypse a more interesting place to try and survive through. With that said, let's crack open the vault. Well, you don't have anything to worry about. Can't find the knife. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, man's best Nietzsche friend. Fallout series. Oh, a little doggy. Oh, dog me was in the first game? Did not know that. We're first introduced to him in the original Fallout. But sadly, our furry friend loses his life. The next set of dogs you meet in Fallout 2 and... Oh, man's best friend, gone. But, according to the developers, the third dog is a descendant of the first. The fuck? What's the matter, boy? It's also confirmed that man's meat dog friend will be back in Fallout. Dog meat? cannot be killed this time. What the fuck? That sounds like a giant mind fuck. Number nine, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Fallout 2. This particular gem is for the sci-fi fans out there. How can a whale fall from the fucking sky? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy may notice something in Fallout 2. There's a part in the game where you come across a splattered whale surrounded by blood and a pot of flowers. It's odd to say the least. But it's also a clever nod to a certain part in the popular sci-fi franchise that involves missiles, a sperm whale, and a bowl of petunias. Hello, ground. Their dig at Indiana Jones in New Vegas was good, but this is better. Number eight. Say no to drugs. Fallout three. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Drop my remote. So we won't get all after school Don't do anymore. drugs, kiddies. I never do drugs. And y'all shouldn't either. Australia might. Drugs have always been part of the Fallout franchise. Hmm. But normally, drugs are given made-up names. Sadly, Australia has so, become allergic. Put the real drug become drug allergic to know what free. freedom of speech <laughs> looks like. This led to the drug being revamped as MedEx. <laughs> it's Australia. They're communists. Which actually fits better with the trend of having made-up drugs anyway. So, in a strange twist, censorship worked this time in the game's favor. Crazy Wolf Karen, he's got just what you need. Number seven, Enter the Thunderdome, Fallout series. The similarities between Fallout and Mad Max aren't too surprising for hmm. both franchises. I never get mu too much into Mad Max. We'll some of little fallout how he referenced the game what's a little fallout huh and there's a leather jacket you can wear in the games that makes you look leather... exactly like max max i mean look at you you couldn't even drive a wheelchair the guy only has one eye so we'll give him credit uh, guys been through hell and back mel who carries an unloaded shotgun just like max so close is that max now, hold it right there sister you're giving me everything you own um, number six the three that never was. The other Fallout 3. The other Fallout 3. What if Fallout 3 had been done by the publishers of Baldur's Gate 2? What would Fallout have been if Black Isle Studios had had a hand in its creation? Well, to be honest, they did for a short period of time. Let me know in the comment section what do you know about Black Isles? Codenamed Van Buren. The game was all set to be developed by them. Say nighty night. On Kiss me. I love that song. Not that we don't love what Fallout 3 is now, but damn, that's harsh. But jazz music, old jazz music. Would you like a cookie? Well, this isn't terribly accurate because it's 
it's one sided. But it can still what are you trying to sound like, Bizarro? Am you Bizarro? Am no dog. If you want an extra challenge, as you funny, can't imagine where they got that idea from. Character with only one intelligence point. <laughs> dialogue will become kind of disjointed, much like a caveman. They bring you in to replace me. They're replacing me, aren't they? Of course. Most NPCs don't like talking to a fuck, man. Fuck NPCs. Man fuck them. Brain smart. Brain smart. What are you trying to be? High Moon Studios? Dude, High Moon, we get it. Fuck them. Fallout series. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <laughs> you just love <laughs> That's like saying, can you help a fellow American who's down on his luck? Can I imagine where they got that idea from? In the original Fallout. Cranky old, and I've been that way ever since I changed. <laughs> he may not be too in tune with Mother Nature, since he has a sapling growing out of his head, but he takes it in stride by calling his natural headpiece Bob, or Herbert. Jealous? His name's Herbert. His name's Herbert. I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. Sadly, it... Bob becomes too much, and by the time takes so... Fallout 3, it takes over his body. In a now fully grown tree. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or we're glad to hear that. Me and Bob. Three, oh, it took over his head. Five. This is what happens when you let weed go to your head. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Never do trees, ladies and germs. Tell me all about it. Hang, hold on there, Jessica Jailby. Nucleon. Hmm, that's new. Nuclear power and use a steam engine like a nuclear summary. Well, you no, we're using nuclear energy and cars, right? In the in the near future, we are. These cars in the game are useless and explode when they take damage. Maybe it's best that they never made a lot of these. Looks like you pulled my fat out of the fire again. Thanks. Number two, late for the war. Fallout three. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! The Great War is the reason behind the desolation of Fallout, and the terrible tragedy started and ended on October 3rd, 2077. In 2077, the storm of World War had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. No one knows for sure who launched their nuclear weapons first, but what we do know is that it only took two Vault tech, probably. The Since they invented the vault, they only... Some had been fortunate enough. It's like 9-11. It was an inside job. vault could have done it. I'm not sure yet. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. Ron Perlman is still one of the greatest directors of all time. Oh. Burnout game. If y'all haven't played that, let me know. No ladders in Fallout 3. <laughs> you gotta remember, it's Bethesda Studio. Number one. Back to the start. Fallout 3. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Fallout 3. The one that I grew up playing, and it, and, and it would have introduced me to the Fallout universe in general. Oh, the Brotherhood of Steel, my personal favorite Brotherhood, the East. Oh, now look at that cover. Do you agree with our list? Look, I don't know who you are. Which of these facts are going to help you get through the nuclear end of days? For more apocalyptic top tens, publish it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, comment, below, subscribe to my channel. Please do follow me on me on TikTok. And I'll see you next video.